Wait, what? <gasps> they, in the game, they give you like a death screen and then they, that's dope. Oh, I love it. Dang. That's so tight. Just whip me, daddy. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Did you mocap this kid? Yeah, I got to do a little bit for him. That was fun. Closer to the height. <laughs> Oh, right into it. Yo, this is sick. Yo, God of War does not disappoint with their cinematics. My goodness. Dude, they don't play. Is he going easy on him or something? Because he's got that hammer right there. And it's majestic and powerful, but he's not using it. Woo! Oh my god. Look at the jiggle physics on his tummy and his boobies, though. We're here for the jiggle physics, let's go. Damn, dude, the costuming is so sick. Oh, they both got weapons they can... But how is he alive? He just got gutted. He's picking his axe with an axe. And he's a god, so... Whoosh! Damn, he is cutting him up, bro. Use your hammer! Clearly, the one who's playing this knows what he's doing. He's like, hasn't taken a hit. There we go. Ooh, the hammer came out. Hammer time. <laughs> oh, this is so sick. Oh, using it a hinge on him to spin. That was tight. Turn your back on your opponent like that? See, that guy has so many layers of fat. Like, getting slice doesn't even lose him. Okay, seriously, whoever's playing this has played this a lot. He or she knows exactly what they're doing. Yes. This is saying a lot because it's a new game. Ooh, yo, that push kick, you can tell Eric Jacobus did that. It's crazy because, like, the, the techniques aren't, like, obviously proper technique, but everything just feels so raw and powerful. Like, yeah. all the punches, the push kick, you can just feel all the force behind it. Oh, dude, that push kick. Oh! oh, man. I love that you can interact with the walls. I didn't know you could do that. That's dope. Yeah, dude, earlier he picked up this freaking log, bro. That's nasty. It's cool. Just, like, really amps up the brutality of all of it, you know? Oh, that's tight. Oh, I love that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he called him a dog for that. He's like, comes right back. Dude. Ooh. Ooh, that was a nice blend of like gameplay and cinematic as well. Wait, what? They in the game they give you like a death screen and then they. That's dope. All right, sorry. I'm now now I'm reacting to the game, not the, <laughs> the martial arts of it. Dude, that that axe just straight up bounced off of him. Oh, it's bouncing off of him like it's nothing. Oh, little folks, man. I mean, there's only so many ways you can swing an axe, right? And being able to find the multiple ways of doing it and making it fluid with each movement. I love that. But also character accurate. It has to fit the character. Yeah. Like, he's more Dude. feral, and it looks like Thor is, like, way more heavy. Everything he does is, like, you know? Yeah. Dude, kicking axe and taking names. Yeah, and they're big and brutal types. So to be able to yeah. differentiate those two types of movements is... What I really appreciate is oh, that, I like, that. when he strikes and it connects, there's actually a little bit of slowdown as it slices through as you would in real life. You know, the swing wouldn't follow through all the way like seamlessly. It would be like stuck in the, you know what I mean? There would be like a little moment there yeah, where yeah, you would yeah, yeah, slashing. Yeah, I, Ooh, I love that. There's resistance. It's dope. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, tight. <laughs> Not at all a judo throw that would work unless you were super powerful, obviously. <laughs> Or flying. Dang, battle of the floating weapons. Ooh. 
Yeah, you're right. That resistance looks cool. Yes. It, it makes it feel more real. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that was like a post thing that the animators did or if they actually, when the mocap performers performed it, they actually considered that, you know? Right. Because I feel like that's going to be hard to do with mocap wise because you're having to like... Ugh. Yeah, for the safety for that. And do it twice, basically, because you have to do it normal as if you miss. And then when you actually hit having to do that, I feel like that's more easily done in animation, right? Dude, yeah, that's so baller. He just stands there and takes axe flashes. So brutal. I haven't seen him throw a straight punch yet. They've just been like throwing haymakers and hooks. Hooks, yeah. Which is cool because it's just like, wow, 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 wow. It's very character driven. Yes. And actually when we were remote capping that, before each character, because I did a few different characters, whatever pickups they needed, they would let me know beforehand, like a background of what the character is, like her story. So all of that was very carefully thought of. It was very thoughtful when we were doing the mocap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing that I love about Eric, right? Like his his motion comes from, and his movement comes from character. Like when it's action for action's sake, it's like, I'm not gonna connect with it, right? When you give me a character to connect with these punches, that's what I connect with. I love that. Mm -hmm. He's such a talented martial artist, but he is an even better performer because he knows, on top of being a good martial artist, he knows how to act. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about is character driven. So being able to bring martial arts, to the, that's a heightened level to be like, okay, this is how the character would throw a punch. Yeah. That's when innovation comes in. Yeah. Dude, he's just taking these ax hits. Oh, dude. This is a really long boss battle. Woo! This is crazy. I know. Is this the final battle? I don't know if you've noticed, the guy who's playing this has not taken a hit, unless it was story driven. <laughs> He's blocked everything and dodged everything. Kratos, that's the character's name. Kratos and Thor. The one playing Kratos has not gotten hit. He's very Kratos. Whoa! Oh, he's got two swords. Dude, are those? Those swords look like daggers in his hands. No, they're whips, like whip chain. Yes, yeah. by his hands, look. He's swinging them. That's tight, dude. Dude. You know what's really sick, though? Even though it's circular, he really, they did a really good job about, like, having the plane not be like straight horizontal. Yeah, it's a little bit yeah. tilted. So like here, when they do all the trailing, it's so dynamic. Wow, cool. Yeah. It's never like vertical, straight vertical, and it's never just horizontal. It's like always on like a slight tilted axis. Oh, I love it. Dang. That's so tight. Just whip me, daddy. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love this. That move, this one. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what that fork like weapon is, but that's dope. Giant fork with two prongs, not three. Fork, yeah, dude. Fork, yeah, baby. Dude, that thing has so much range. Yeah, it does. The double? Bro, did you see that double? I love it. It's not connected together though, right? It's like connected no, by it's his separate. hands. And he's just holding the yeah. chains and then throwing out the swords. That's Yeah, tight. but he has the option to hold them as swords and fight close combat. But then he also can swing. I, physically, in my head, what would make sense is having the chain in one hand and the sword in the other. So you're swinging the sword like it's normal. And then when you throw it, you're holding onto this chain, right? To be able to like, and then bring it back. But to be able to maneuver having the chain in your hand, throwing it out, releasing the sword without releasing the chain, and then bringing it back, I think it's near impossible. I, I don't know how they did this one. It must be like with mocap wise, it would have just been like the ropes or something. Because otherwise, I, I can see that swinging into your legs, swinging into your face. Like this is not an easy weapon to, to mess around with. 
Yeah, but you'd have to you'd have to have weight at the end of the rope. So for safety's sake, they probably tied something soft. But I had to have some weight so it could swing and properly have the motion that they need to emulate the swords. But I agree with you. Like usually you'd have like one hand holding the chain and the other one holding the sword because then you can kind of control the way you retract. Otherwise, what if you pull back and the sword end comes back at you? <laughs> you know what I mean? You like pull it and it's like oh. Right, right. The shapes they're making, the trail also is so cool. I love it, yeah. Dude, it's so explosive. The fiery trail. It looks like it's releasing a little bit of fire too with it. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Dude. Very satisfying looking game. Oh, you can play the kid. Oh, this changed. Ooh, with a bow and arrow, let's go. Looks like the bow is the weapon that he's using? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's swinging around the bow as if it's a weapon as well as it being a projectile weapon. Yeah. So close quarters, he's using it as like something to hit with and then like a, from far away, he's... Yeah. Interesting. And he's also, it looks like he's using a little magic too. Did you mocap this kid? Yeah, I got to do a little bit for him. That was fun. <laughs> Closer to the height. <laughs> What did you do? Um, we did some pickups um, where uh, all of us were like moving together. Gosh, it's, it's all like, I feel like mocap days, especially for pickups, it's always like so many different things. So I can't remember exactly. There are a few scenes where we had to run away from things or run as if we had to build these like obstacle course kind of, because in the game there's like, we're running on ledges and things and higher up planes. So we had to like jump on blocks and things and while holding the bow and shooting at stuff. So that was fun. Oh my god, is that a Brussels sprout? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Are you sure that's not you, the troll? I got to mocap a few different characters, so... That might have been you calling yourself a Brussels sprout then. <laughs> How can you, like, increase your strength with punches? For punches. You know what I mean? Bruce Lee's one-inch punch comes from, like, hips and legs, almost. Like, he uses his whole to show the fact that you don't need to do this. Like you don't need the your arms to make the punch powerful. It's all your full body there. Also same with you watch boxers. You know what I mean? Boxers, they don't have like crazy, like it's all like close, all the hooks and everything here. It's And the uppercuts, it's tight, but it's more, I feel like um, stems from the power of their legs and their hips. Like there's, there's like physical things that you can do to like strengthen your body to like do more damage with the punch, right? But the simplest thing is when you're punching to use your whole body is where you would as the most easily create that power. If you're not, if you're just punching like this, you're just using your arms, like all of this muscle versus using your whole body to go into a punch. I think that's like the simplest thing aside from actually like working out and throwing those punches multiple times. When I when I throw like a punch, I feel like when I teach it, I, I sometimes will even teach it, turn your arm out and then just turn your body as it, and then let it pull your arms, right? And that allows it to, to get that strength, get that motion versus doing this, right? Instead of being a sockum, what is it, rock'em sockum? <laughs> sockum puppets. <laughs> Ooh, oh, tight, dude. tight. Ooh, Yo, the back the way he just jump pushed. with the arrows. Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. Into the... I like his dodge. It's not a roll, it's just like a side spin, a side step with a spin too. Dude, what's dope is that you see the contrast and how much more agile he is. He's smaller, less gear, moves so fast. When he does his like jumping attack thing, this is the similar thing of like, I think they're doing this in post because our body can't slow-mo ourselves in midair. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they are doing kind of like a, a hold as long as they can. But when he attacks, it's like a wham. And it's fun. It's, it's nice to look at because he holds that shape. It's like a tornado. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It reminds me of how you would like throw a raise. You know, and then you wait till the last moment to strike. I feel like a lot of martial, that's like a good characteristic of a, a good martial artist is like, all your strikes should be that way. You know, even with a punch, you like hold and then not into the last second do you snap. You did the pickups for this, right? When did you do that? I want to say it was like last year, like around like March, April. Yeah, because that was around the time when I started working with Eric on another job, another motion capture job, and he wanted to bring me on for the end of this game. So they had a few things they wanted to pick up. So I got to work at his studio in Vegas. So that was my first experience with him. That's so cool because 
I feel like people don't realize how long it takes to make these games, right? And you did the pickups, so that was like, you, you know, the, the original team must have done it like even longer than that. So you understand how, what it takes to make a game. Yes. Oh my gosh. This was a lot of fun to watch. It's my first time getting a chance to watch it. Man, it's just, it's so cool to see it fully done, packaged up. Because when you do it mocap, you're like in these suits and you're like, oh, I'll just do the best I can. And your job is to make the, the action as readable and dynamic as possible. To So just finally see all the bells and whistles and everything finished is like, it's just incredible. I'm very proud to have been a part of it. Watching these clips, I'm like, I can see why look why everybody's loving it, and it's such a satisfying looking game. But I think this is one of those that I, I like just have to watch and and know the story and see the story versus like actually getting the chance to play it. If you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure to check out Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page. You can find me on my socials at. Gemma Store on Instagram. So you can find me on all social media platforms at Yoshi underscore Sudarso and I'll see you guys later.